Welcome back to Life with Liz. In today's video, I will share my storage closet declutter and organization. We will be doing a huge linen closet purge along with showing you my small coat closet organization ideas. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that bell so you know when my new Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos are out to motivate you. Now let's start this linen closet purge. This is our guest linen closet where it holds extra blankets, pillows, beach towels, some cleaning supplies, light bulbs, some really random things. The majority of this closet is getting purged. I will keep two pillows and they already have pillowcases. The rest of the bedding in this closet, including the two huge storage totes full on the bottom of the closet are out of here. Since I put these extra blankets and sheets in these totes two years ago, I have not opened them. So that probably means we don't need them. But anyways, we are just going to be moving these light bulbs over to this other bin because it'll fit perfectly in my storage bins that are in my living room that have plenty of extra space in them. So we're gonna do that right now. So after we get those moved into a bin, then we will be putting our cleaning supplies in another bin that will go under my daughter's bathroom sink that has lots of storage space that is not being used. So I have two giant mason jars you'll see in here that have magic erasers in them and one that is full and then one that just has a few in it. So the one that's full, I'm actually gonna be taking and adding over with my other overstock cleaning supplies in the laundry room cabinet which I recently decluttered and organized. So I'll definitely link that video at the top of the screen here for you. But um, the few that are left in the jar, I'm gonna cut them in half and put them under my kitchen sink. Uh, it's not that often that I actually use an entire magic eraser at once. So cutting them in half is a lot more cost effective. And as you can see, we are rolling up our beach towels and putting them in this bin that I'm repurposing from our living room, which I also recently tackled. So I'll also link that video at some point in this for you, but I will be adding that bin to the top of this closet with the pillows and the rest of this linen closet is actually going to become additional storage for a future kitchen organization video because we don't have a pantry or anything, so I'm just gonna repurpose this closet. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video, but I'm about to show you, we're almost done here, and I'm about to show you the aftermath, <laughs> everything that is leaving this closet, which is just crazy, totally crazy. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose so now this is the under bathroom sink storage area I was talking about that's in my daughter's bathroom and also our guest bathroom. So this tote holds her extra soaps and stuff and then I have some even more than that behind there. So um, we're just gonna wipe up underneath this and put it back before adding the storage bins that we just filled from that closet in here. And all the other stuff in this sink does not belong here. It's either a toy, it belongs in the garage, it belongs in the trash, not in here. <laughs> so that stuff's gone, this new stuff's coming in, and I'm super happy with how this turned out. Now we are going to organize our coat closet on a budget and by that I mean for free. <laughs> um, I'm not using anything that I didn't already have or any of that. So actually the only thing I'm even adding in here storage wise that's not just normal is the fact that I'm using the bags to store the other bags in them. 
Um, and also I'm going to be adding later on this, uh, I don't even know what to call it, like a broom holder thing that goes on the wall, but I actually can't do that right now in this video because my daughter's asleep. So um, I'm gonna have to do that a different day, but I will show it to you and I will show you my plan for that. So essentially the same thing. Also, um, I will show you some coat closet organization ideas throughout this too. So right now I am organizing the coats and hoodies and stuff like that. So the one that looked like it was for babies because it was, it was a snowsuit for Lily when she gets a little bigger, but it was just a pass down from her cousin. So then I put my hoodies, my jackets, and then my coats. And then I did Brian's two coats and two jackets. So, and I'm just taking all these brooms and mops and stuff out of here. Those are the ones that are going to end up getting hung in here. And all these bags <laughs> are ridiculous, but um, I'm really happy with how the storage of those came out. This vacuum I've already replaced with my vacuum I got for Christmas, which you guys have seen in other videos, but um, it's going away. Bye bye. <laughs> and I, we have a couple of coolers that are going to go at the top of the closet. They were on the bottom, but it's just a pain in the butt to have them down there. And you would be amazed how much dust is in this closet that hardly ever even gets open. <laughs> so I'm just sweeping all that up before we continue. So one of my coat closet organization ideas is to put your suitcases inside your suitcases and put your travel pillows inside of those. So stack those all together instead of having them all separately. And you can see here, I thought about why are these going back on the ground? Anyways, those are at the top of the closet now. And then we are going to work on these bags. So I'm going to put the tote style bags together. I'm going to put the um, like overnight bags together and the backpacks are going to go in there on their self <laughs> because they're so big. But anyways, and then they are all going in my 31 style tote bag. So super useful. And I love that they can just all be together in there so I can take down the entire thing and grab the bags I need and put the entire thing back. I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down So I already had this broom holder thing I showed you where I'm going to put it on the wall but I already had that it's I don't know 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon but um it kind of ruined a different wall so watch out for that because we had to end up patching holes whenever we took it down out of the laundry room when we painted in there so it's going right here in this closet so that I don't care <laughs> it's probably going to stay with the house when we leave honestly but this looks incredibly better and this is all the stuff that is going away, which is just crazy to me. And I'm just gonna run through and show you those extra spots where we added in like the light bulbs and the magic erasers, just so you can see what I did there. And if you are new, please subscribe and hit that bell. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Come down in the comments and let me know any tips or tricks that you have for your storage or linen closets. I would love to hear them and get ideas from you. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of you. And I will see you all back here on Monday with a brand new video. So have a wonderful, amazing weekend. Bye guys.